Hi friends, welcome to our channel. My name is Tanya and my best friend who lives next door to me, her name is Monoshock, and this is our channel. We're so glad you're with us. But I have to be honest today, I'm a little bit disheartened. Disheartened about quite a few things. So let me share some of the things that are disheartening me or frustrating me. The first thing, <laughs> number one, item number one. Let me put that here so that you guys don't shake. Item number one is, well, my wisdom is really coming out and I need to take care of that. But that wasn't the item I was going to talk about. Item number one is teenage attitudes. Teenage attitudes. Oh my gosh. I have forgotten. I forgot about the teenage attitude because my older son, the one that's away at college, Roman, he's gotten through that phase for the majority of life. For the majority of things, he's out of that phase. But Michael, my younger son, he's just heading on he's uh, like a he's head on into the teenage attitude phase and it's really frustrating because I feel like any little thing I say is either ridiculous stupid cringy I should just shut up or I shouldn't open my mouth which means the same thing but that's how I feel Woo! I need to just Breathe in and let it go and remind myself that this is just a phase and it will pass. But it's really exhausting and frustrating when your teenager's in that state, especially if you're already kind of frustrated about other stuff. It doesn't help. <laughs> it, it's not helping me. So the, the thing that I'm disheartened about, let's talk about the disheartened component that I mentioned at the beginning. I'm disheartened. If you've seen two videos ago, so not the snow video, but the one before that where I it's titled the the thumbnail is titled I quit. My sweet sweet cousin Oksana checked in on me uh, right so, shortly after that video was posted. Thanks Oksana for checking in on me. And um she was just like I hope everything passes and everything is okay. And I wrote back and I said Unfortunately, this isn't the first time I felt that way, and it's not going to be the last time I felt that way. If you have any components of homesteading or any components of having or running a household, it doesn't matter if you're a homesteader or not, the components of running a household, this dude is going to walk past me and think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> His name is Michael, and I only know that because when I was in the doctor's office, I just came out, um, they said the lab called Michael. And this young guy got up, and this older gentleman said, which Michael? And in my mind, I'm like, Michael, when I hear Michael, that's my son's name, who I'm talking about. Um, and I was like, yeah, which Michael? Oh, no, it's not my Michael. My Michael's not with me. <laughs> So apparently there are two Michaels in the lab waiting to be blood drawn and uh, she said Michael S. I am not disclosing HIPAA so don't come at me. I am not a medical provider. I am here as a patient picking up something from my clinic. Uh, so I'm not discussing anybody's confidential information. So getting back to the disheartened component. Yes, there are uh, homesteading or running a household, whichever, but I'm, I'm referencing homesteading because that's what I am going through. Um, it has like curves and valleys and it has highs and it has low lows, like really lows. And sometimes it's flat, but that's really rare because it usually it has like this. Like today, I get a text from my other neighbor, not Monashak, but my other neighbor. And uh, she's like, Tanya, your sheep are out. And I'm like, looked at my son because we were leaving to go to his sports event and he's like we gotta go we gotta go and I was like no the sheep are out and then as we we checked to make sure that it was not our sheep no our sheep were in the barn because he had them locked up so that they could eat but the sheep our sheep were in the barn and then my neighbor texts me oh never mind those are monoshock sheeps sheep those are monoshock sheep 
So there's always some kind of adventure. Something's always happening. Either something is escaping or something is fighting or there's coyotes howling at night or whatever. I, I could go on. But getting back to the disheartened component. I go through these phases. We all go through these phases. Um, it takes me a little bit to find my grounding again. And then I charge forward again and proceed with the homesteading. I get frustrated. I get happy. I get joy. I get satisfaction. Um, unless something really major, major happens in my life, I do not foresee myself quitting homestead because I absolutely am very happy with my, I am very happy with my life decision. But I'm disheartened because we originally, Monashok and I, originally started this channel to share our homesteading experiences, to share the highs and the lows, to share in our adventures, to share recipes with you, to share our cultural differences, and to learn from you all, our followers, our viewers, our YouTube family, to learn from you all um, and interact and, and have exchanges. We started this channel. We started this channel almost three years ago. I think we started it at the end of October, early November of 2020. Oh my gosh, that's three years. Three years have passed. I can't even believe that. It went by like that. On the one hand, on the one hand, it didn't. But we've been at this for three years. And the disheartening factor is it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. It's not growing. It's sometimes shrinking, sometimes growing plus or minus one or two here. Let's say sometimes if I put up a short that contains my animals or the chores, we'll get some more followers. But for whatever reason, we are stuck in TikTok. Or I'm sorry. We are stuck in we're like either shadow banned or we are in YouTube jail. I am not quite sure what is going on. And yes, of course, we opened this channel and our Russian speaking channel with the in, with the knowledge that that YouTube can be a very difficult platform to grow in. We were fully aware of that. We were warned of this. We did so much research before we dove into this world. But just through, what's the word I'm looking for? Just through, just through organic growth, we should have more followers than where we're at. Fortunately, our Russian channel has about double or a little bit more than the followers that we have on our English channel. And because of that, we were able to gain the necessary hours um, to get monetized. So that channel is monetized, even though it makes us pennies, it is monetized. The English channel, on the other hand, we have not reached that threshold of, I think it's 4,000 viewing hours. We reached the threshold of 1,000 followers, but not the threshold of 4,000 or more viewing hours for our channel to be monetized. Now, we went into this knowing that it's a tough world out there. It may be it may be time consuming. It may take time, in this instance, years. And so this has become a labor of love, labor, labor of love, labor of love. We enjoy sharing our adventures with you. We enjoy giving you all little peeks into the little windows. We enjoy giving you peeks into the windows of our lives. Um, and some of the things we we deal with on a daily basis uh, and the adventures we go on. We wish we were going on more adventures, but that hasn't been the case uh, as we have not been able to travel as much as we would have liked to. Um, but regardless, it's disheartening because we've invested so many hours and hours and hours into our channels. If you've ever edited a video, 
you know that a lot can go into editing a video. It is absolutely not as easy as we thought it was going to be. Um, a lot goes into it. Time, energy, sweat, blood, tears, frustration, happiness, joy, all kinds of components. Um, and in addition to that, we both work full time. We both have our own homesteads. We both have our own families to take care of and we have our channels. So this is not a complaint. It's just kind of where I'm at. I'm at the disheartened level like, why is it stuck? Why is our channel stuck? Maybe we're not interesting. Uh, and that's a reality. Maybe people are not interested in our content. I have my own theory um, as to what's going on. Uh, and maybe I'll speak on that someday, but I'm good. Monotruck's good. We want to continue doing this. We want to continue sharing our adventures and our journey and our recipes and our excitement and our daily lives with you about little peeks into our lives. So if you know of anybody that would enjoy this channel or benefit from our channel, please share our channel with your friends, your family, or anybody that you may know that might be interested in watching us. Uh, we always love and appreciate when you give us a like because that tells YouTube that people are engaged and interested in our content. And those comments that you leave in the bottom also help us out because it tells YouTube, hey, people are engaging with this content. Let's push it out to more people. But for now, all I can do and all Monotrack, all we can do is continue on this journey with you. We're so, so grateful to those of you that have been on the journey from the beginning or those of you that have joined on our journey at some point along that three year timeline. And we're so grateful for the time and the dedication um, of watching our channels. We're, we're very, very grateful to you. We know time is valuable and we appreciate your time. The other thing, we're just gonna keep praying that this channel grows so that we can bring you more adventures. It would be lovely if this channel got monetized. It would be a dream come true. So thank you for any help towards that way. We would be grateful. So this is just a check-in. I am okay. I can be disheartened. I can want to quit, but I will still maintain the focus and move forward. That's just my personality. And that's how I've had to approach life because I've had so many obstacles thrown in my path. So many challenges, as has Monashak. Both of us have overcome so many challenges traumas, um, life events that may want you to, that you may just want to say, I give up, but we are two ladies. We're two best friends that hold each other up so that we don't give up. And we hope that somehow we can project that hope and determination towards your way if you ever feel like you are having a day where you just want to quit because we all have days like that so sending you much love health happiness and peace on this world talk to you later bye